In this lesson, we are going to see a couple of techniques of how we can use with GenAI in .NET. The main idea will, will be around how we can, in example, access models, create chats, do vision activities, and more. And how we can use frameworks and tools like Semantic Kernel, Microsoft Extension for AI, Vector Database, and more in order to do this. So let's start. So for most of the demos that we are going to do, we are going to use and run the models that we have available in GitHub models. And part of the demo is going to also use models that we have running in Olama. I have Olama locally running in Docker. You can run Olama in Windows, also in the code spaces, in Linux, Macs, and more. And in this version of Olama, we have this local model installed. So we see we have an embedding model, all mini LM, and we also have two Llama models. You can use this the same for 5.3.5 or 5.4 and more. So let's take a look at the very simple and the, very, the started model, which is basically, let's do a completion. Large language models are great to predict the next token. So they are great to kind of predict the next worth. With this, what we can do is create a client that is going to connect to a GitHub model, is going to load the 5.3.5 model, and then we are going to ask the client to, hey, complete this sentence. What is AI? Write a single response for it. So let's run this one. There it is. This is the answer. AI or artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence and yada, yada, yada. And this is cool. And remember, if we want to change, in example, one model for the other, I can go, we can go to the, let's change the Phi 3 for, for one of the Llama models or Mistral Nemo, which is uh, super small. And we can go to the playground. And in the playground, when we saw the code, I usually do this to basically copy the name of the model. We have here the name of the model. By the way, this is a code, the code that you can copy and paste to have this. So let's copy the name of the model. There it is. So hey, this model doesn't give us a very, very long answer. Say that AI is artificial intelligence, which is great. It's a short answer. And this is also important. Each model behaves in different ways. And we can do more. We can do stuff like chat with the model. What, the, what, what we are doing when we have a chat? So basically, we have SDKs, we have tools that, because the model can manage a context, what we can do is basically use this content to have the history of the chat. Let's take a look at the implementation with Semantic Kernel. So in Semantic Kernel, we define that we are going to use a 3.5 model, and then we create the client. And then when we have the client, the important part is that we create a chat history here. What we see here is that we are going to create a, an object in semantic kernel is called chat history. And the history in this SDK and the other is going to support three types of messages. We are going to support the system message or system prompt, where we define how the model must behave. We are going to support user message, usually the question that we ask. And also, we are going to support the responses for the model. The idea is that we are going to save this in the history. And when we have the history as part of the chat conversation, the model can will go back and understand the context of the whole conversation to give more precise answers. So this is a semantic kernel using, uh, using GitHub models. And I am going to do the Olama with semantic kernel locally, which is literally the same idea, the same model. But what we have here is we have a model using Llama 3.0 vision, the local one that I have. And we are going to say, hey, you are a useful chatbot. If you don't know an answer, say, I don't know. Always reply in a funny way and use emojis as possible. So let's give this a try. And we have a model that responds in a funny way. So if I ask a question, like an example, what is my name? is going to say that your name is Bruno. And if I ask a question in another language, like an example is Spanish, let's see what's happened. We have a question and, hey, hola, amigo, it started to make a mix of Spanish and English. And the, the question at the end is Bruno, we have this. But we can say something like an example as part of the synthet prop that is basically going to define how the model will behave. So let's remove the use emojis. We don't use emojis and we are going to say, So in this scenario, the, the model will only talk about soccer and only reply in English. So if we run this again, 
let's ask a question like an example. What is the capital of France? And what we have here is that, hey, you think I'm a soccer bot or whatever. I only talk about, I have talk about geography. Well, let me tell you, Bruno, it's Paris. But the main context is about soccer. So we can use the system prompt to do more. An example, I can ask here to more ask more questions and more. And hey, with this, we have everything that we can do, an example, to make the first filter of how we want to help our model to behave. And this is interesting. We see how we can start with completion. We can have a chat. The chat will have memory. We can define everything that we have. 